I'm Kimberly Tice. I'm a seven-time Ironman competitor, and I'm deathly afraid of water. I've been running since 1991. I got into running because I'm a girl, and I didn't want to diet. To date, I have 45 marathons, 50 ultra races, and seven Ironman. I'd certainly call it my happy place. I didn't even have a bike when I got into running. I just knew I wanted to do something else. When you learn to ride in aero bars for the very first time, you really just, it's like anything, you build up to it. It's like sitting on the saddle. How do you sit on the saddle for an hour? You just practice, practice, practice. You know, I'd ran so many marathons and they were starting to get easy. And I asked a buddy, you know, what, what's, what can I do? What, what's next? And someone said, hey, how about this Iron Man thing? And uh, I didn't think I could do it because of my fear of water. I was so scared I, I couldn't put my face in. So I didn't think it was feasible for me, but I thought, well, I should at least try. I can't say that I had an experience, it's just that I had this overwhelming fear that shut me down. My first attempts to get to the lake, to even go try to swim in a lake, I would hyperventilate, I would go into full panic attacks. But eventually, we got out of the car and got to stand by the water until I finally was able to, believe it or not, just put my goggles on and put my face in the water. When I put my face in the water for the very first time, I felt like I could see what I was afraid of. And over time, I've convinced myself that the darker the water, the better. If I can't see it, then it doesn't exist. But Kona is going to be quite different because you can see everything. Kona is the ultimate Super Bowl of the Ironman for a reason. It is the hardest. You got an ocean swim, you got the wind and lava fields, and it's lonely. Once you get past all the distractions and noise, you're able to settle into your own race. Your body is ready. Just trust your training, trust what you've done to get here. When you jump in the water, it's breathe, control your heart. All the things I have to do to control panic. I survived the water. You get out of the water and you do the same thing on the bike. You're all out there by yourself and no one's talking to you. But your voice in your head, it's loud. Telling you all the reasons why you can't, why you shouldn't. Can I do this? That's what you're hearing. But it's those people that get you to the finish line. My brother's gonna be in Kona this year. He's got to see me finish. It's everything. So when I have thoughts of not finishing, it's not a choice. It's 20% training and 80% gut and heart. <laughs>